Number 19 on our list takes us back to the Detroit area in the 90s. River Rouge running back Chester Taylor was a force. Before he set records for rushing yards and touchdowns at the University of Toledo, Chester was the man in the mega conference. 2,500 career rushing yards. Taylor ran for 1,300 with 21 scores his senior campaign. All purpose back. Wasn't real fancy at anything, but was good at everything. He had the power of a fullback, the takeaway and runaway speed as a scat back, somebody can make you miss. So he definitely had a, a very huge combination of speed and power. He could do it all. I mean, wasn't super big, wasn't super fast, but one of the most durable backs, you know, that you ever witnessed. A sixth round NFL draft pick, the man known as Che Tay, had a near 10 year pro career with Baltimore, Minnesota, Chicago, and Arizona. Let's go west for the 18th best back in the past 25 years, an All-American at Portage Northern, Kelly Baraka. A track star who in 2000 set the state record beating Charles Rogers in the 100-yard dash. Flat out one of the top 20 prospects in the country. Made it look so easy. You know, just looked when he was running, looked like he was gliding and just could, you know, just had that ability to make people miss. In his first game as a junior, he ran for 149 yards on 18 carries, caught three passes, returned a 64-yard punt for a touchdown, plus made nine tackles on defense, all in the first half. Despite the hype, Baraka never made it at Michigan, finished his football days with some Joliet Junior College and indoor ball under his belt. Back to the Detroit Public School League and our second runner who made his high school living in the King backfield. Darren Williams led the Crusaders to their first state championship in 2007. During his senior campaign, Darren totaled nearly 3,000 yards. Darren was a thorn in our side for four years. I don't believe we beat Darren the four years he was there. He was a small guy that played the game like he was six foot, 220 pounds. I coached against him quite a few times and it, it it would always leave me scratching my head a lot of times. Just, Look, man, y'all, I'm wrapping up. You know, we were trying to wrap up, but you know, like I said, he was just that strong. D dog is what they called him. He was a he was a dog. That's what he was. Yeah. Check this Crusader career: 714 carries, 6,000 yards, 56 touchdowns in high school. Injuries cut short some promising college years for Darren at Cincinnati. Number 16 goes to the Flint area and our only running back who carried the ball for two different high schools. You might recognize the name Mark Ingram. In the mid-2000s, he combined for over 2,500 yards and 38 touchdowns for Grand Blank and Flint Southwestern. It was his senior year at Southwestern that got the attention of college scouts. In his first game, 319 yards and four touchdowns. Of course, Ingram went on to win the Heisman Trophy and win a national championship at Alabama. He currently runs the Rock for the New Orleans Saints. Our last of the Williams checks in at number 15. Cast Tech All-American Clarence Williams was a technician in the early 90s. After a decade of mostly mediocre seasons at Cast Tech, Clarence led CT to a 9-0 record in 94 before falling by a single point in the playoffs to Warren De La Salle. 190 carries, 1,300 yards, 20 touchdowns. He took a kickoff return and he was like a blur. He didn't fake anything, he hit straight up the middle. He was gone. I mean, by the time you realized that, hey, he's gonna break it, it was almost like he was crossing the end zone. Man, he, he must have did that in eight seconds. You know, he, he, he was lightning fast. He was just so explosive. He'd take a, a simple pitch and make one cut and he'd take it 80 yards in like seven seconds. It was ridiculous. He was elusive with the football. Very, very hard to game plan for for us. And then just watching him, you know, it wasn't just us that couldn't stop him. I mean, the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan had trouble with that guy. Clarence was part of an 800 relay team that still holds the D1 record. Williams went on to a great career at Michigan and a cup of coffee with the Arizona Cardinals. 